Hi fellows! In this video, I am going to give you the very basics to get started with Iliad. Obviously, I assume you succeeded to install the plugin from the marketplace and Iliad is enabled in Unreal Engine. If you experienced any trouble, please let me know in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to help you. To start Iliad, we need a texture asset. Since I am using a new empty project, there is no texture yet in my project. But thanks to Iliad, I have the possibility to create a new texture from scratch. To do so, I use my right click to display the pop-up menu and I go to Iliad Texture. If you can't see this option, it means you haven't enabled Iliad yet. Then, you can choose the texture size in pixels and click on Create As to generate a texture. I enter a name, even if you can leave the default name, it's okay. And then I right click on the texture to edit it with Iliad. Here is Iliad default interface. At the top left corner, you can choose a brush among a list. Since version 0.3, Iliad includes 70 brushes by default. To display them, you must go to View Options and check Show Engine Content. When you pick up a brush, you might see information displayed below in the panel Brush Exposed Parameters. I will talk about this in another video. Uh, let's try our new brush in the canvas. It is the perfect moment to make sure your graphic tablet is working with Iliad. At the bottom left corner, there is the Tools panel. The trash bin icon will delete the content of the current layer. The paint bucket icon will flood fill the current layer with a single color, and the arrows will undo and redo your actions. Please note, it will only work on strokes at the moment, it won't affect layers. At the top right corner, we have a color wheel to pick a color. We can also use a sliders that offer various ways to choose the right nuance. And you can also use the Alt key to pick a color up from the canvas. Now, let's have a look to the layer stack on the right. Click on the grid button plus layer to create a new layer and let's paint on it. So we can use the eye icon to hide a layer. Uh, the lock will prevent any change. As you can see, I can draw on that layer. The third button will lock the alpha channel, so I can edit existing pixels with another color. I can also lower the opacity. And I can edit the value with a double click on this area, like this. I can also play with many different blending modes. I can add folders, I can drag and drop images in a folder. I can merge layers, duplicate layers, flatten folders, and I can rename layers and folders. Okay, let's now see the top bar. There I can change the brush size. I can change its opacity and its flow. If I need to erase my stroke, I can change the alpha mode normal to erase. By the way, keep in mind that normal mode has nothing to do with normal maps. In that case, normal just means basic behavior. Now let's have a look to a panel named Stroke Options that can be found on the left-hand side. The Options tab will be used to increase or decrease the void between two stamps in a stroke.
The smoothing option below will be used to smooth your stroke and make it look prettier. Here is a stroke without smoothing. Now I enable the smooth with a strength of 10. And now with a strength of 37. The other options, real time, catch up and method are not working yet. Uh, just like interpolation cannot be changed either. These features will be explained in another video as soon as they will be implemented in Iliad. Okay, let's continue this video with a few tips. At the bottom, you have the zoom option. It will also work with your mouse wheel. So if you scroll up, it zooms in. If you scroll down, it zooms out. You can also use this little arrow to display a menu that gives various zoom ratios. You can use the little arrows to rotate the canvas. You can also use the shortcut R to rotate. You can use P to pan. And oh, I, and I forgot, you can also rotate the canvas using this field here. And uh, if you want to reset the position and the rotation of the canvas, click on that button. Last trick to end this video. If you find the brush preview annoying, you can disable it. To do so, go to Window Performance and uncheck Draw Brush Preview. That's all, folks. Thank you for watching. Please share this video if you liked it and feel free to leave a comment if you want me to cover a specific topic. If you're willing to share your work or if you just want to talk to our crew, you're welcome on our Discord server. And if you want to support us, you can tap us on Patreon. Links are in the description. Thank you again and see you soon!